while American companies continue to go green. Today, IBM announced a big initiative designed to save energy. Big Blue, as IBM is often called, says it will invest a billion dollars a year in Project Big Green. Saving energy is a hot topic in the IT world as more and more computers are collected into ever bigger data centers. Apparently, all of the data centers in the US now consume as much electricity every year as can be generated by 30 large power plants. IBM's project aims to slash the amount of power data centers use. Well, I'm joined now by Tom Braddich, who is the vice president of IBM. Welcome to the program. Uh, a you. huge pro problem that you're trying to address here. How will this project work in practice? Well, it, we have a tremendous legacy and expertise. In fact, when I was in kindergarten, my forefathers were solving these problems literally decades ago. So we're bringing to bear tremendous technical skills, tremendous experience, and we're doing it in several categories. So one of them is in the area of creating software that runs on these computers to keep them cool, that is to control the amount of electricity that ca they consume. And in effect, it's like server or computer carpooling, where we put many of the workloads on one computer and we're able to quiesce or put to sleep or quiet the others, so they're not emitting the heat or the electricity within the data center. Which is potentially great news, of course, for the environment. But uh, by making this new software, for example, selling it onto corporate customers, IBM is going to make money out of this as well, aren't you? There is an opportunity, of course, for us to do well and our partners to do well. And when it's a win-win situation, then it's very durable, very good for the economy, very good for the environment, as you point out, and very good for us as well. Tom, it's uh, Egon over here in London. I've got to ask you this, a rather cynical question perhaps, but isn't there an element of bandwagoning about all this? Well, we have a tremendous amount of experience and feel we're the best suited to step up to addressing these problems. But also, there is a social responsibility that we have in order to uh, uh, achieve some of the lower electricity bills for our customers, as well as to help the environment. So the investment that we're making indeed uh, represents a very, very large commitment on our part, and we're very happy to step up to doing that. Tom, when you talk about uh, smaller electricity bills there, how much savings are we talking about? What are you aiming at? Well, data centers today worldwide can mm -hmm. consume in one year as much electricity as the city of Paris, the city of lights, can consume in 16 years. So there's a tremendous amount of electricity and a lot of heat to be reduced. We can save anywhere from 10% all the way up to 30 to 40% using the technologies that we have. I like to uh, look at it as a way to not only reduce the amount of energy that is consumed for running the computers, but also that is consumed for running the air conditioning that's needed to cool the computers. And where has the cause of this come from? Has it been from within IBM or has it also been your customers? It's been a joint collaboration. We are very focused on collaborative innovation with our customers. And we tend to be the most innovative and the most productive when we work very closely together with them. And in terms of future developments, how are you incorporating this into that? Oh, there's some very exciting things. We have a new material that we call warm ice. It's a material that can freeze at a higher temperature than ice, and that can be used to cool. We have equipment that we push up against the hot computer, I call the, the heat sponge, that literally sucks and removes the heat out, and many other developments at the chip level, too, to make things a lot more cooler and run much more efficiently. A fascinating thing to look forward to. Well, we wish you all the well with Project Big Green. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.